us to another episode on ASUG12 exams. So in this episode, we continue looking at the November 2022 Science Paper 1. So the previous episode covered question C1. So uh, let us move straight to question C2 of section C, where we expected to answer two questions out of three. Question A, figure C2.1 shows a learner viewing an activity over a wall fence using the instrument shown in figure C2.1. So we have the stage, then we have the learner uh, basically standing here. Then, Loma numeral 1, name the instrument used. So if you look at uh, this uh, instrument, uh, we are seeing the total internal uh, reflection for this learner to be able to see uh, this uh, stage so basically uh, this instrument is normally used uh, by marines which is known as in the pedi uh, scope so this is a pedi scope that's in the name of the instrument loma numero two copy and complete figure c 2.1 by drawing a ray of light to show how the learner viewed the activity on the stage. What is key here is to ensure that the ray of light is coming from the image going to the uh, viewer. So the viewer in this case is standing here with this learner. Then the ray of light let me use a light color who come from where the stage is so it will come like this then hit on the plane mirror this is the direction then there will be a um, total internal uh, base garden reflection so it will come and hit here so just take note remember the second law is this angle and this angle will be the same incident and the angle of reflection will be the same then after hitting this one then it will also be uh, reflected like that into the the observer in this case the learner so what is key is these arrows these arrows need to show and ensure that these um, deflections are happening so just to emphasize this is the angle of incidence here now this is the angle of deflection they are equal so these are equal that's uh, basically by the second law of uh, deflection so once you do that you are good to go to get uh, these uh, two marks question b of c2 figure c2.2 shows a grass prism with one face labeled a beam the reflective index of the grass prism is 1.5 define critical angle so lemma numeral one here in this case i can define it from here what is the critical angle so when i talk about the critical angle basically we are referring to um, the angle of incidence in a denser medium take note a denser medium for which the angle of refraction in the less denser is 90 degrees so what this implies is if we have two medium then let us say this is water then we have here this side so once the ray of light enters this okay it has it enters at that point then to be reflected downward then the moment it will be crossing this boundary between here and water it will be reflected away from the normal now we are talking about the angle this angle of incidence in such a way that this ray of light is reflected in this direction such that it is in 90 degrees to the norm that's the critical angle so the definition is critical angle is the angle of incidence in a denser media for which the angle of refraction in the rest denser 
medium is 90 degrees so take note of that then we can look at a Roman numeral two. copy and complete figure C2.2 to show a narrow beam of light which is incident on a beam of the grass prism until it emerges out of the prism so the ray of light will come and enter let us say this is 90 degrees so what, what once it enters here it will hit this one then um, this the 90 degrees will be normal such that this is normal so this is the normal 90 degrees then uh, this is the angle of uh, incident i so whether the ray of light will be reflected or refracted depends on the critical angle so now for us to complete uh, this array diagram let us find uh, basically the critical angle so if this critical angle which is in this case this angle of incidence because this is 90 degrees and this is 45 so this is 45 so basically this angle here will be 45 meaning the incident angle will also be 45 so if the critical angle is less than the incident angle then uh, basically there will be total internal refraction if the opposite is true then there will be a refraction refraction is it will come out in this direction then if it's uh, less than the incident angle thus the critical angle it will be uh, basically reflected here to come back here such that this will be 45 so uh, basically to complete this let me uh, find first of all at uh, the critical angle which is Roman numeral 3 so let me just move to a new page so having known this is what the critical angle is you can just uh, use the formula so critical angle is given by a uh, sine inverse then 1 over uh, the uh, basically reflective index so we have sine inverse then what is a reflective index so reflective index has been given to us to be a 1.5 so just substitute there so 1.5 then this is over 1 then we can use um, our calculator so once we use our calculator we're going to discover that uh, the answer will be 41.81 degrees so this 41 is the critical angle now the incident angle is a basically 45 so degrees so this tells us a basically critical angle is less than the incident angle which is a basically 45 so if that's the case what it means is we are going to have total internal reflection so so this tells me that uh, the uh, reflected layer will come out from here down here that's where it will come out from such that uh, basically this is um, the reflected ray will be equal to basically 45 degrees which is the same as this angle which is here so once you do that uh, basically you are good to go then Roman numeral 3 we've already calculated this one remember just from finding this one to be uh, the critical angle as in this case then Loma numero 4 of B give two uses of total internal reflection. So the uses. So as you notice uh, from uh, question A, this uh, periscope. So periscope is a uh, one such a use. So you notice that uh, basically the total internal reflection is used uh, widely. So one such application is in in the medical application so in the medical field you use a um, endoscope so endoscope is are uh, used by doctors to look at the inside of the patient so a long tube is basically inserted in the the body of a patient which guides light into a specific organ then the guides reflect the light back out to give the image of a specific organ so that's such an application then a uh, number two the fiber broadband internet so in the fiber blood 
band internet so ideally the computer sends information encoded as in, uh, pulses of light along the underground uh, optical fibers then the user is able to receive those coded in information then also it is used in the telecom so in telecommunication as again information is sent via the optical fibers to transfer from one place to another then also the periscope that is used in the military in the marine the military personnel is able to uh, check what is happening on top while the marine is submerged so those are the key uses that you can think about when you are giving the answer to this question so remember i've talked about the periscope which is uh, from question m then endoscope which is used in the uh, medical science then we also use a uh, fiber broadband internet use the principle of optical fibers thank you viewers for watching uh, this uh, episode if you find this video to be helpful please uh, consider liking and also if you're new to this channel consider subscribing by liking subscribing and sharing you are going to help us improve our visibility a simple like from you makes a big difference so once you subscribe to our channel and go to our channel we discover that we've got so much content so we've got a mathematics a based a revision questions we've got a physics we've got a chemistry then we've got also topic based a section for all the subjects and this is uh, the best uh, section for you if you're having any challenges in uh, any particular topic.